Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the new character for this weekend's showdown event. It is a Zombie Mankind. It came from the boiler room. And I just want to take a peek at this. Um, the straight jacket, the chains, the mask, the weird looking skin, the oven mitt sock thing. Um, looks pretty scary. Um, I think in terms of zombie art, like him and zombie Kane are like the quote unquote terrifying ones. Uh, would have been awesome if he had thumbtacks coming out of him. I was kind of hoping that would be the case. Um, but that's cool. He still looks, you know, scary, zombie-like, as he should. Um, so he is a modern era um, trickster, as my blue stacks crashes. <laughs> He's a modern era trickster, which is interesting to me. Um, Zombie Austin is Attitude Era, and Zombie Page is PG Era, so I'm not sure why Mankind wouldn't be Attitude Era, um, but that's conversation for another day, I suppose. Um, his coach ability at 17k, which is 5-star silver. Row Break Gems do 100% more damage. It's got your standard zombie link of 20% more health. The Zombies 2021 link, which is any color moves that deal damage, will deal 25% more damage. And the Modern Era link of gems do 5% more damage. And just the one set of gear. So, we're going to have a 3-star, a 4-star, a 5-star move set. And then I'm going to try to mix and match. I've got a tricolor set I want to look at. I have an alternate 5-star build I want to look at. Um, so let's start with the 3-star. So we're going to be running the finisher with double yellow. So the finisher is the Concrete Crusher, 10 MP charge, uh, deal 119,486 damage, and choose a 6x2 area to swap into yellow gems. The Malevolent Claw is yellow 1. It's a submission, 8 MP charge. It's a color submission. Choose 7 gems to make into purple submission gems and do 18,829 damage for 5 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into leech gems of strength 94,823. So, decent amount of healing there, decent amount of damage considering they're going on his primary color as well. And yellow 2 is into the furnace. A 5 MP charge, deal 56,603 damage, and choose one gem to make into three turn juggernaut gems that will deal 464,247 damage to opponent and self on every countdown turn, and heal for 928,411 at the end of the countdown. So you're damaging yourself and the opponent for two turns, but when the um, the Juggernaut gem countdown has concluded, you'll heal all of it back. Um, so in terms of like initial thoughts on that, you gotta wait the three turns um, to not kill yourself. So we'll see. Um, and I checked the portal to see how these scaled at five star gold. Uh, the finisher swap goes from 6x2 to 7x2, and the Malevolent Claw gets an extra gem. So that's how that's going to look at 5-star gold. Uh, but we don't have 5-star gold previews because we have no 5-star gold opponents. But the portal is there for that reason. So the Entourage are going to run. We're going to use Kofi to start with more yellow MP. Uh, we're going to use Trickster Big Show uh, for more purple move damage on the finisher. We're going with uh, Tech Drew for more yellow submission damage. We're also going to get an extra turn. Probably not super preferable, I guess, because you're wanting to break those leech gems afterwards, but it's just one turn. I'm not, I'm not super pressed. And um, we're going to use Zombie Sasha just to get more yellow gems on the board, uh, because without tour perks, you're going to need to swipe. And this will... Um, 
Also, when you're using the finisher, it'll help us chain all these yellow gems together. So that's what we're going to try. I'm going to go up against um, Masters of the Universe Triple H. And for the belt, my queendom for a purple percent move medal of any, I don't care if it's padded, like just give me a purple percent medal for these previews. The best I can do with a full fury set is a tier three um, yellow percent that I spent strap parts on to max out for this preview. Um, so just know that I love y'all. These are the things that I do for previews. Um, we're going to run a full fury set and I'm going to try the all heart plate uh, because I don't have the it's time once again plate. That's like the break purple, get yellow or break yellow, get purple, whatever that one is. I don't have it, uh, but I feel like that one would be ideal. So we're going to do the all heart plate because it boosts his purple gem damage by 100% for two turns after the submission. And if the submission is leaving behind leech gems, I feel like it could be powerful. It might be better in a different moveset. I'm going to try that later. Uh, but I just want to see how this looks. And um, let's go. See how he does. Okay, yeah, that's, that's scary. That is a good zombie look right there. They, uh, they got the terrifying thing down. So, um, with or without tour, per tour perks, I know how to talk. Um, this is going to be turn one with an MP trainer, so we'll use it. And we're going to put it somewhere that he is hopefully not going to break. So we'll take this loot gem. Um, with my, um, I have level five tour perks, so I have two, plus two starting MP. Um, but without, again, without tour perks, you'd be at five. You would take this yellow match here. We don't need it because that's going to be ready to go next turn. So I'm going to take the purple match. And that way, when I lay down the sub gems, I don't need to chain as many purples together. So you can see that this triggered. So that's one. And then if when this triggers again, we'll do more damage. Uh, color submission, seven to turn into purple. So I only need to make a three match. So I'm just going to put that up there. And then what I'm going to do is just put the rest on purple gems because they turn into leech gems. We have the all heart plate. We're going to try to make, you know, as strong as possible. So that charges our finisher. And thankfully, juggernaut gems are like double reinforced. So he didn't destroy it. Don't destroy it now. Please don't destroy it now. Thank you. So in testing this moveset, this was the problem that I was running into. Um, the effect of the Juggernauts has taken place against both of us for the two turns, but our finisher is charged. Now the question I have is, do we swipe and end the match with full health? Or do we hit the finisher now and just, you know, risk killing ourselves? Um, I'm going to swipe just to show the effect of the Juggernaut gem. But in a competitive game mode, I'm not sure how viable that would be. So that's gonna, yep, there we go. So we've healed back all that health that we just lost. And then what we can do is put the finisher over these leech gems. I never showed. So our gem damage before was, um, I wrote it down was 8,720 with the Fury and then a belted opponent. And then with the All Heart, it came became uh, 16,000. And our Leech Gems are super strong. So if we were to break, problem is like we're gonna turn them yellow, but different moveset would be fine. But now we're gonna hit the finisher and then we'll just put them over Leech Gems to try to heal back the rest of our health. I 
and he's done. So, like, I can see the Juggernaut gems being useful, like, maybe in a Titan feud when you're taking out somebody with, like, a ton of health. And it's a five charge, so make one yellow match and you can stack them. And then you could slowly bleed out a Titan that way. And then you'd be healing yourself every third turn. Uh, so you would just have to make sure you don't die before then. Uh, the sub is good for that. Not sure how I feel about... Uh, man, I... Mm. We tried it. That's what a preview is for. We tried it. Um, let's just move on from this moveset. Maybe I'll feel a little differently later. Uh, but let's move on from this moveset and take a look at a four-star. Four-star moveset we're going to look at is double black with purple two. So black one is the bile driver. Get it? Pile driver? But he's a zombie, so it's bile driver. Um, anyways, six MP, deal 74,715 damage and make all purple gems into leech gems of strength 70,506. Black 2 is the Boiler Room Beatdown, also 6 MP, deal 69,772 damage and make 6 random gems into purple gems. And purple 2 is Felling the Tree of Woe, 8 MP charge, deal 86,397 damage and choose 4 gems to make into black gems. So the entourage for this. We're going to use Bray Wyatt to start with more black MP with my tour perks. Both of these moves will be turn one. Uh, Daniel Bryan to make more purple gems. We're going to use Showboat Lacey for more purple gem damage and Embrace the Vision Seth for more leech gem damage. And for the belt, we're going to keep with Full Fury. We're gonna swap in um, a black percent medal almost maxed out so we're 113 percent instead of 133 and we're going to use an internal positivity plate because i finally have one now yay uh whenever you break three or more black gems get three purple move points at the end of your turn so that'll help us recycle a little bit and um let's see how this one looks so two ways we could go about this. We could use this move first to scatter the board with purple gems and then turn them into leech gems. Doing that could be an early cascade though. Or we can hit this move first, turn what we have into purple, and then use the boiler room beat down and try to chain them. I think what I'm going to do is toss these out first. And if this doesn't work, we'll just try it the other way next time. Wasn't that perfect. All right. Um, we're using Lacey and Seth. So let's see. Uh, Purple gems are doing 10,000 almost exactly. I'm gonna turn all those purple gems into leech gems. And now they do 11,000. So the 15% from Seth, helpful. Our purple move is ready to go next turn anyways, but I'm gonna swipe. Nice. There's, there's, oh, wow. Wow, okay. So like a casual four break cascade with leech jump, man. We gonna do this again. We're gonna do this again. We didn't even get to use the other move. Okay, we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna try it the other way because I wanna like actually get the plate to work and show how it recycles and actually do a preview of it instead of just bopping them on turn one. Um, so let's try that again. Take two. We're going to do it the other way this time. Mm. 
All right. So now we actually have a shot at. Yay! We didn't prematurely pin him. Okay. Don't have a lot of pin bar though. Uh, so we're choosing four to make into black gems. We don't need more than that. I, like I wouldn't use Titus on this because these are both only six charged. So if you make a wild card, you're charged. You're ready to go. Um, we're going to pin him no matter where we put these. So let's just make a wild card there. And then that should give us three purple MP as well. Which it did because of the plate. Ah, uh, you butt. You butt. All right. We're going to eat this a little bit, I think. But have no fear. We have really strong leech gems. So we'll just spit those out afterwards. Or match them during kick out. If we have either of them left, we'll see. That was a whiff on the AI's part. Thank you. Let's just do that. Oh yeah. Look at all that health. Um, so we're gonna do it the other way again this time. I'm gonna punch him in the face a bunch first. Hopefully not Cascade. I don't like that. Oh, famous last words. Famous last words. Hopefully this doesn't happen. Guess what happened? All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're resilient. We got this. Oof. Um, okay. So, let's get rid of that. Let's use that. Use this. Hmm. I mean, we may as well just connect the leech gems, get our health back, pin them, and the match full life. Okay, so that's usable. Definitely usable. Cool. I don't think that's like crazy good by any means, but I mean, we also, you know, missed a couple matches there, but yeah, that's still definitely, like I'm thinking in terms of feud and showdown, that's not going to keep them down turn one or two, uh, but you'll end the match with like all your life. So it depends on what you value in this game. Um, let's keep going and take a look at the five star moveset. Five star moveset brings in purple three, which is the bite. So we're going to do purple one finisher, yellow one submission, and then purple three health steal. Uh, so the bite is a nine MP charge and you steal up to 325,992 health. That is not a typo. Okay, so. What does your girl love? Overkill. So we're going to use Kofi to get the sub going turn two without tour perks. Um, and then Shield Roman, Zombie Daniel Bryan, and Zombie Finn Balor um, for, as my boy Sans would say, to steal more Elt. 
Uh, so we're going to get this from 325,000 to 603,000. And basically what we'll do here is use the submission to charge both the purple moves, steal some health, and use the finisher to charge the sub, and then just constantly recycle that. Uh, this is going to be good. Oh, I should mention. Uh, <laughs> I didn't bother changing the plate because I'm lazy. I don't have the yellow to purple, purple to yellow plate, unfortunately. I don't think you would need it. It would be more of an insurance policy in case you get dodged or submitted. Um, but I did end up doing half armor, half fury. I have a flat purple move metal, and I just want to show... I see, rather if it'll work, like if it'll deal initial damage on this and then steal the health, I don't think so, but that's why I'm bringing it in, just to kind of um, prove that. So uh, let's see how much this is gonna hurt. Them, not us. So, that's ready to go. That's nasty. That's nasty. Um, let's take that. Oh, okay, we pinned him. Womp, womp. That's fine. I was hoping we wouldn't cascade and that we could get everything going turn one, but not the case. All right, so. We place seven with the sub. We need a five match to match the bite and a six to match the, the charge the finisher. So we're gonna do two groups of three. And then a reminder that they turn into leech gems afterwards. So let's just put the, they turn into purple. So we're just gonna put them on purple gems. And this should get everything loaded for us. And we don't want to make a wild card either because then they get the wild card on their turn and we don't want that. We're not here to help them, we're here to hurt them. You just make your own wild card anyways then, damn. Yeah, we'll take that. So the biggest question I have about the bite, um, it's not will the flat move metal do damage, it's how is he going to bite him with a fucking mask on? My guy. It don't work like that. Like, do you have to like unhinge your jaw or like what, how is this going to work? Okay, let's, he's biting him through the mask. Okay, so. The flat move metal did nothing. If it said deal one damage and steal up to a kajillion, bajillion, million health, um, then the flat move metal would apply. But it does not say that, therefore it does not work on this health steal. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. All right, let's recycle everything and do this again. Really? Just not gonna kick out, huh? That's fine. Anyways, you'll see that it recycled. So that's fun. That's like turn two, if you have your max tour perks, possibly turn two in feud, uh, depending on line bonuses and perks. Um, turn three, if not, and you lose zero health. So that's ridiculous. Also, how is he biting people with like bars over his mouth? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Um, let's take a look at a tri-color moveset. I'm gonna try a slight variation of a three-star moveset. This is the tri-color set I wanted to take a look at. So we're using a uh, purple one, yellow one, black one. So um, entourage we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna do Bray and Kofi. 
Um, if you had max tour perks, this would be turn one, but I don't, so we're going to have to wait a turn for the sub. Uh, but Bray Wyatt for more black, Kofi for more yellow, and then Lacey for purple gem damage, and Embrace the Vision Seth for leech gem damage. And basically the thought process here is to make all the purple gems into leech gems and then chain them with the sub and see how big of a hit we can get. And uh, yeah, just trying for damage here. So I'm keeping the belt the same as the first three star move set. So all heart plate for more purple damage, uh, yellow percent because I'm lazy. And uh, let's see what we can get out of this one. So the sub's not ready yet. So I'm just going to take a swipe. And he'll probably break those. Yep. That's fine. So, turn two. All purple gems into leech gems of strength 70,506. So let's just check our purple gem damage. Uh, with Lacey, we're doing 10,255. Turn everything, all the purples into leech. So the 15% from Seth is, I mean, it's, it's boosted regardless. And we're going to make seven gems into purple sub gems. So I don't want to make a wild card because then he gets a turn. One, two, three, four, five, and then I don't, like, I want to be able to submit him still, so, and the remaining ones will turn into 94,000, okay. Thank God for that bottom corner. And then with the all heart plate, we're going from 11,000 to 19,000 on this leech gem. Again, 18,000 here, 19,000 there because of Embrace the Vision Seth. And then we'll hit the concrete crusher. And this will recycle the sub. Are we still boosted from the sub? We are. So we're gonna take that. Hmm. Well, turf breaks, I think we need eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll just kind of scatter these around. Oh, I knew that. I meant to do it, don't worry. Oh, balls. I don't think we double stacked. Oh, we did. Okay, so the all heart plate worked out for us. So now these are 26,000 for leech gems, uh, but we're going to cover them and make them yellow. So that yellow leech gem was 8,500 8, instead of 26,000 on the purple. But, I mean, 
interesting, doable, a little bit of finesse, maybe a different plate. Um, could make that hit a whole lot harder. Um, let's take a look at one more move set. The last move set I want to take a look at is a variation on the five star move set. So we're going to um, keep the five star move in. We're going to bring back black two and purple two. So make six random gems into purple gems, choose to make into black, and steal health. So we're going to do um, Bray and Daniel Bryan to get the boiler room beat down turn one. Uh, we're going to keep Zombie Daniel Bryan and Zombie Finn on for the health steal. If you had Hall of Fame Eddie, um, that would be a good call as well to get an extra purple gem because that is random. And we're going to keep the same belt setup as um, the first five star moveset. So we have the math works out that you'd be better served using a purple percent. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I ain't got one. My queendom for a purple percent. Uh, so we're going to keep the flat on there. We're doing half armor, half fury. And we're going to do the eternal positivity plate to help um, load everything quicker. So just a nice recycle moveset with a really strong health steal. So let's see how this one plays out. So turn one and throw out a bunch of purple gems. Nice. Nice. Um, and we didn't cascade into a pin. So we can use this to chain some of the purple gems together. And that'll charge up black two again. Nice purple cascade. Everything is charged and ready to go turn one. I meant turn two. You knew I meant that though, right? So what we can do is not that we need to steal a bunch of health, but we can, you know, bite him through the mask. All about that pandemic life. Um, and then we can throw out some more purple gems. And got the black break which will help charge that. And then we can go here to drop these two down or one and the wild card. Charge the purple, three break of black, charges the purple again. And then again, so we can stay at full health. So even though that health steal is a nine charge with the um, with the plate breaking black to get purple and then putting out a bunch of random purple gems, doesn't feel like a nine charge. Alternatively, you could put um, Andrade or Zombie Charlotte Flair as a coach. Um, to help ensure you get more purple gems on the board to start, and then you can cascade and chain some of them together even more. <laughs> I don't want to pin. Oh, we're going to pin because he's in danger. Do that. Make sure you get your match of black gems. And then the plate kicks in again. I love this plate so much. I'm so happy I finally have it. Um, but fairly straightforward and um, you win with max health. So that's definitely a viable option depending on your trainers, coaches, and plate options. Um, so let's, uh, I think that's going to be it for move sets. So let's just wrap things up on zombie uh, mankind here. So that concludes my preview of Zombie Mankind at 5 Silver. Uh, first thought, 
was there was a major, major missed opportunity here. We could have named him Zako. We chose not to. And when I say we, I mean they. Um, because I would have named him Zako. Like, Sako with a Z. Because he's a zombie. Um, technicalities, I know. Um, in terms of movesets, versatile. Again, depending on the play options you have available to you. Um, I think even with basic trainers and coaches, either of the five-star movesets that I showed um, work very well. You heal yourself quite nicely. They recycle quite nicely. Um, I think you could play around with the tricolor a little bit and see how hard you can get that to hit for. Uh, the Juggernaut gems, I think, would be uh, good in Titan feuds. Um, still not in entirely sold on those because you do have to wait all three turns and a lot of people in this game don't want to turn three anything they'd like it to be over turn one or two so a little bit of patience there uh but overall very like best version of trickster mankind in the game can i get an amen um let me know what you think he is a trial so everyone will receive him at five star bronze again this was a five silver preview so the values will be a little different i also have the trial character um, that i will be playing around with maybe i'll do a video at, of him at five bronze with a preferred move set let me know what you think um where would you rank him amongst tricksters we've got lately um, Cesaro is very good, Booker is very good, Memrock is very good, Invisible Cena is very good, Alistair Black as a zombie is still very good. Um, so where would you rank him amongst tricksters? Where would you rank him amongst mankinds? Is he better than tech? Is he, is he not? Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like share with your friends and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.